Hello and welcome back. Today's video we're going to be taking a look at my first combat mission, breaking it down, criticizing myself a lot, and uh, hopefully learning something from it. So yeah, again, this video has gotten 10 million views on my YouTube alone. I know it's been shared on other platforms and other uh, channels, but let's go ahead and take a look at my first combat mission. Alright, so I'm skipping the first 15 minutes of it, which is that recon. Uh, the artillery narrowly missed us. Yeah. You can you can hear me, I'm trying to keep the confidence alive. If the artillery happened. We're coming, bitch! Those tire fires ain't gonna save you. Yeah, so Carson. We did not know that we were going to be the only ones going there. <laughs> we thought we had a bunch of Ukrainian military there. We're pushing them back. But pretty much what happened was we were going to be uh, put there. You're going to see. We're going to be put there with other volunteers. Just holding, holding the line with, uh, with bodies. Now we volunteered for this mission. We had no idea what it was going to be. And I mean honestly we had no clue that we were going to be assaulting that day until so just 30 minutes prior to this exact moment you're watching. We're just talking about a tourniquet. I mean, most of the guys I was here with... Oh, hear this. This is nuts. Yeah, let's dismount. Hey, get to cover, right? Not a good time. Go right! Not a good time. But yeah, most of the guys here, not military experience. Hop out, hop out. Um, my buddy that you guys probably recognize from Russian State TV... And yeah, myself, but him, uh, he's been in the Marine Corps, he's in the Ukrainian military, you know, he's, he's well-versed. Yeah, you can see the splash there on the left. Yeah, I, I had I had ran here, and I did not know where anybody was. I, I actually had no idea anybody was even here. I didn't know if that was artillery or tanks. You got one more. Hey. And now the more I... Take this. Yeah, I handed my rifle. Why am I letting go of my rifle? I don't know. You can see um, myself and him are pretty much the only people trying to do anything and everybody else is just standing around. So yeah, I had no idea where anybody was. I was here, kind of confused. I see tanks moving back. Yeah, and you can hear him asking, is that Russian armor? What, what, you know, what, what is this? And no, no, that's ours. Confusion. That's how, that's how screwed up the situation was. So we run down here, and as soon as I run down here, I see there's a bunch of people. Everybody's running from left to right, carrying stuff, ammo cases, a dog. So I just get to this uh, nearest point of cover. I don't even know who any of these people are. I'm just like, okay, well, you guys are alive, and it seems like a pretty good piece of cover right here. I looked at the two hills. I, re I distinctly remember, hey, this is a good place for cover. Yeah, what's up? These guys dropped some ammunition. Yeah. You can hear the small arms. Gotcha. Oh, right over us. You can hear the whiz. Hey, stay down, stay down. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I didn't want to say much. I was not the team leader. But at the same time, I can criticize myself. <clears throat> I got to be more demanding. And when it's combat, you just got to yell at people. But at the same time, I met those. This guy right here, I met him three hours before we went to the front line together. We were the same team. Alright, so this was not your everyday scenario, but two weeks after the war started, what are you going to do? <laughs> Stay as low as possible, right? Yeah. So I try and give him some advice, trying to be nice, because... What's going on? You know. And he, you know, he's not dumb. He's, he's actually... Being calm like that is pretty cool. Uh, I wish I could be as calm as him. Um, you can see I'm a little bit like, what the hell is going on? And he's just sort of chilling, you know what I mean? Ruski, uh... Kilometer, kilometer. Yeah, I still do not know how to speak Ukrainian. Um, I wonder what that was. BMP. Friendly or Russian? Who knows? That. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could tell what he was saying there. Um, yeah, so we're we're pretty much here. <sighs> Where they put our vehicle? Where's our car? There. Yeah, so gotcha. where's our car? In the trench, uh, you know, over there. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Sounds good. 
I need to hit out of my vape right now. So, still don't know where the Russians are. No, it's ours. Yeah. Forget. And every time we hear, you can see that this this day was the first day that we had we had taken artillery pretty close. We had the, the day prior in the barracks. We were, we were hearing it a little bit. This is the first actual day. So we're starting to learn what it sounds like. They tell us to run underneath the bridge. Yeah. Get under. Let's go. We're Dubai. Dubai. It's the only thing anybody knows. There we go. Hey. Oh, man. Sir, sir, uh, purple man. Uh, was nice, guys. Yeah, get that shit out, bro. Yeah, yeah. So you can see the, <laughs> the different emotions. No, no, please. You know, I, I was really glad to find him. Yeah, this one He's pretty ready? much the only guy I trusted. Um, so we're, we're trying to get the rockets ready. And our entire team is here. We're getting the rockets ready. Our team leader is calm as hell, but... You know, he can see we're kind of confused, but... He's not really saying much. Now, I, I don't blame him at all. He's extremely experienced in other yeah, militaries. Uh, but he doesn't away? speak English well, and he's trying to gain knowledge just like anybody else here. Gotcha. You can see there's 10 of us underneath this bridge. We have no idea what the hell's going on. So everybody's just... We brought all our gear here. We're looking around. And every like 10 minutes or so, there'd be artillery. It was not fun. Um, I went to this uh, this little uh, this little thing for the bridge that holds it up, whatever you call that column. Uh, I had used that as cover. You can see my friend doing that as well. And everybody else is sort of, I don't know if they're just not scared or if they're, I don't know what, but everybody else is just sort of standing around. Um, we got artillery. We should probably not be uh, in the same spot. Yeah. 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 We'll see the bridge one day. Yeah. Well, anything's better than chilling out there at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. And what you can't see because of the exposure is that yeah, there's impacts there, and that's why everybody's looking over there. Uh, somebody was injured over there, from what I remember. Again, this was at the very beginning of the war. Um, so we're all just chilling here like what the hell now where is the leadership that's my big question alright we're the soldiers we want to do stuff we were told hey the, an assault's going to happen that's going to happen pretty soon we were told get underneath the bridge we're like alright go underneath the bridge but where's the leadership where are they I'll tell you what I know where the general is and I don't expect him to be on the front line but he was kilometers in the back he had rushed us into here and we'll talk about that uh, later on take it take it so, yeah, I'm uh, just getting some food, smoking some cigs. I guess this is just break time in the middle of uh, you know the front line. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm uh, using this time as wisely as I can. Yeah, and that's how desperate you get. <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> like any little bit of cover, anything at all. You can see none of us have helmets, except for two guys. None of us. I don't have a helmet. I've got a beanie. That's not going to help you. I have long hair. Maybe that'll help me. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, this guy's basically when I... <laughs> I used the Google Translate to figure out what's going on, what he's saying. Did not pick up much of it, but it was pretty much just him saying, what do you mean, divide? What do you mean, like, go? We're just sitting underneath the bridge. What's going on? Can you hear the artillery? It's about to come in. So, he's talking to leadership. Leadership is kilometers in the back. That's what's happening. Nobody has leadership. We're all like, well, what the hell is going on? What do you mean? Yeah. I, so, you can see in the text, well, I'll say it right now. There's about 20 rounds that hit. Very, very close. On top of the bridge, right in front of the bridge, right in the trench next to us. Holy shit, I can't... I'm getting chills right now. <laughs> Not just because it's cold. It's very cold in my van. But, oh my god. It is absolutely terrifying. Everybody shuts up. Everybody's just... Get to the prone. You can see... You know, those guys, they're, they're chilling out now, but... Before, it was just everybody laying on the ground. 
at that barrage, that thing that hit, there was one person who was killed, one that was injured, from what I remember. Uh, that were just outside the trench. Um, there's a berm about 50 meters ahead, and they were injured. So, it's, look, this is my first combat experience. First experience like on a front line, active front line with artillery and everything. Get the rocket in. And, yeah, yeah so... We're being told that we're going to assault now. We're being told there's an assault happening. Let's go. I'm like, hell yeah. That's, you know, I'm a rifleman. Like, tell me something to do. You know, tell me something to do. I'll do it. Let's go. So we're all like getting ready for this. Some of us nervous. Some of us confident. Some of us like. So he's trying to teach him how to use a rocket. Earlier, we were both trying to use it. <laughs> yeah, so he's shown that there's instructions on the rocket. But it's still kind of difficult. I don't know. We're infantrymen. What do you expect? Sweet. Even with pictures, sometimes. We push. Oh, that's the famous. <laughs> what do we do now? We push. We're still underneath the bridge. We were told we we're going to assault, and we're all ready. All of us just. You know, in the knee, ready to go. Get the rockets as prepared as possible. And we're about to, you know, rush them. And we thought we were going to be, in my mind, I was picturing we were going to be pushing just like the Ukrainians were that got this position here. This position was held by the Russians less than a day ago. fuck is that? That was great. All right. We're just... Yeah. There's there's this sort of eye contact you get with somebody in the middle of combat where you just look at each other and you can tell the emotions. Very difficult to describe. I described it in a, on Willie's podcast. Oh, God, here's the... <laughs> Imagine that in the middle of a... <laughs> they're idiots. They're not idiots. They're, uh, they're taking cover. And they're probably the smartest people of all of us right now. Instead of just laying down, they're like moving in cover, trying to get supplies across, whatever it is. Who knows what they're doing? I don't even know what car that is. Is that the same car that I went in? I'm actually curious. Because later I go into a car. I don't know. Yeah. So we hear artillery. And at this point, we did not know if that was uh, the exit like the, the Russian artillery firing and it was about to hit us or if that was friendly or if those were impacts. We were new to this whole thing, so we did What's not that? know yet. Some guys pushed up? Yeah, I saw like three or four go. All right. And I know there's one to the shoot. One Yeah, so he says that people pushed up. Um, I would later find out that yeah, nobody bit. actually pushed up to the Russian line. So it's one time around. Maybe 50 meters <laughs> to that berm is what he's talking about, but nobody actually pushed up. Uh, to attack. Uh, this was turned into a complete withdrawal by Ukrainian forces at the beginning. Yeah, as soon as I hear one of us take a shot, I'm taking a shot just for the fuck of it. <laughs> yeah, I can hear us joking around. I mean, finally we got some time yeah, just to chill out. To say that. It's probably the last day. In two more days. Yeah. yeah. I was just talking about Karasan and hey, finally it's taken again. About two months ago, we took Karasan again. The Ukrainian military. I didn't take part in that. Uh, counter-offensive. He's describing it. Say about a kilometer in front, we got Russians. Kilometer in front, we got RD tanks. Basically everything, infantry, yeah. all raining down on us. Well, they're raining down on us and the road. And, uh, yeah, uh, this one time in Raqqa. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, having fun, having fun. Yep. Probably should have gone to college, but... Here we are. Tomorrow. So I'll tell you what, it's, um, combat is fun. All right. Uh, but it's also very scary. It's only fun once nobody's injured, everything's good. We gotta get to the village. Being out here is not gonna do us any good. Yep. You can hear us talking about that. Go tell them. All right, where the fuck is Ivan? Where's Ivan? Yeah, so. He went. With the Trevor Light. Yeah. Okay. So he's saying that our team leader had left, pushed up, and again, we're just left here um, wondering, when is the assault? We were ready for this. He didn't bring us. I don't know why. Maybe he was just getting into. 
You know, again, like nobody really knows what's going on. We hear that. I instantly think, Russian? <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> we were told the Russians are advancing. We're here. All the Ukrainians have pushed back. We're taking casualties, and we hear a tank coming from right in front of us. That is a Ukrainian tank, by the way. He says that they're not panicking, and yeah, we're. That was not the only one. This is the second one. So these are Ukrainians falling back. Now, I think they were. It looks like they were coming from the right of us, which is right from here as well. Inside. This is the same car, isn't it? The same car that was riding in the trench. I think it was. <laughs> the same car that we're like, he's an idiot. We're getting into. Okay. Well, we're the idiots, okay? This guy's a freaking badass. Nah, it's not gonna get monetized. He's a fucking badass. Let's go. So, he comes back, our team leader comes back and says, Here you go. You're a salt team. Like, oh. and we thought that the, because the, the tanks were coming from where we are going right now. The Ukrainian tanks had fled from where we are going right now. I had no idea what was going on. I thought in my mind, I think as well as everybody else, that we were going to be getting into some contact here soon. That they were in the village, and that we were going to be fighting. And I can't imagine how that fight would would have uh, turned out, just because of how disconnected our team was, having only met them three hours before. I get stuck. Okay, this is not me being. The artillery's hitting. I had thought that, okay, we parked, we're getting out. But no, this is a energy drink and uh, alcohol break. So, you know, I I feel like I should have taken the alcohol at this point. <laughs> I probably would have been clearer-headed. Like, uh... God, man. And you can see him. I mean, it looks like we're being complacent. Like, oh, just keeping our legs back and... I'm sitting on my ankles right now with like 70 pounds, 80 pounds of weight on me. Go under the bridge, get in my bag, bro. Are you kidding me? What? Ivan say, no, Ivan, uh, Yeah, so one of the more inexperienced guys, like literally inexperienced, um, he left his bag. He's like, oh, I need to get my bag. So the team leader had to run with him, get, get his bag, come back. Insane. Insane. So here we are, we're pushing. I'm being told that we are pushing straight into the front line. We have no idea how close they are. We trust this driver. I've never met him in my life. Okay. We turn left. We're going that direction. That the Ukrainian tanks had just fallen back from. Right in front of us, you can't see because of the exposure. Artillery impacts everyone. Not just, but fresh. What's up? What's up? We're going to go kill him. Yeah. That's close. The GoPro audio doesn't do justice. It's shaking us. The explosions are shaking us. You can feel the vibrations, feel the concussion. Okay. Yo, we're gonna take position in one of these homes. Alright. It's another shot. We're just getting blasted, man. We're getting blasted. Holy shit. <laughs> Even like nine months after, I still get chills, man. Dubai. Dubai. I can hear my voice. Dubai. It's. I thought I was going to die. Okay. Especially after this moment. Very, 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 very. I, I can't even explain that, okay? So, yeah, here we go. go. I'm like, okay, adrenaline's kicked in. Let's get the hell in here, dude. Military instinct turns on. Get everything ready. Get inside the house. Get I start commanding. I'm like, <laughs> we gotta sit down. our team leader's not here, by the way. It's just us. It's time to get in. I go up to go and shoot the lock open. Boom. As soon as that's done. We gotta get inside. Me and the other, uh, huh? you know, prime marine. Move, move, move. I try and kick it down, run out of there. He shoots it down. We're good. <sighs> get inside, get inside. Go, 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 Hear go, this. go. 
What's going on? Ivan. Man. I just hear that. They were fire for affecting us. This was targeting us. They saw the vehicle from a drone going into this area. They're fire for effect. Fire for effect. Those are mortars. Okay. You can hear it still coming. Uh, this is obviously right. abandoned house. What is Ivan? Ivan is here. In front of the car. In front of the car? Yep. Hey guys. Yeah. Don't shoot there. Alright. Where are our guys? Our guys? Cool. That is a true warrior. That is our team leader. <laughs> there was no cut in that video. He literally, just a minute after that, fire for, act, fire for effect on us. He comes walking in. Hey guys, just nice calm voice telling us what's going on. That's awesome. Uh, now you can see my buddy was getting patched up by Sharky. He was putting a uh, wrap around our team leader. Is bringing the vehicle, bringing it to safety. That's his car. And, um... I'm covering him. I said I'm covering him because <clears throat> I don't know where the enemy is. I see smoke I over there. That is door. smoke. That's in? not exposure. It's smoke. Try and kick it down. Shouldn't open the lock. And you can see the way that I go in here. Look, the people behind me, the only two experienced people, we have like five of us here. There's only All three right. of us that are sure. experienced. Two Get of us here. are not. The two that were experienced were busy patching each other up. And the two guys yeah, who weren't right experienced were the only ones that would be able to uh, clear that room with me. I knew yeah, that that was yeah. a la lost cause. We never trained together and they don't know how to do that. So that's why I went in like that. We heard a jet. Yeah. yeah. So... We spent a couple hours in that uh, in the house, and I had I had taken team leader position pretty much. I told everybody, look at that window, look at that window, look that way. And then at that point, we all went to the deck because we heard that jet. There's more artillery, obviously, just not on video. Uh, we end up falling back, just a couple houses down, to get off of the X because we were just getting bombarded. There's Ukrainians that were uh, next to us in a position that um, were hit very very badly. And we're now being told, okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Um, get yeah, some reinforcements. Go tell somebody what's going on. Like, something. So, we're uh, we're just back here. There's nothing going on. We feel pretty safe. Alright, where are we, man? You figuring that out? And uh, Sharky's going to be looking at the map. Um, trying to figure out where we are. How we can get back. No, it does not sound like a Bayraktar. No. Yeah, so you guys know me from my rock video videos as well. Hey, let's spread out. Spread yeah, that's gotta be one of we heard a drone and oh, did not sound like a Bayraktar, which are it's Ukrainians. Ukrainians. It sounded like uh, something else that I've never heard before. Probably a Russian Orlov, which probably was targeting us just a couple hours before this. So. Yeah, I don't like the space anyway. Yeah, you can see we're, yeah, we're going to be heading back now. Um, but I decide... I tell everybody, hey, let's spread out. Um, we got to keep dispersion. And, <laughs> okay, so we finally get the, the ability to fall back. We got reunited. And here we are falling back. That BMP that we saw at the beginning of the film, I don't know if you saw across the bridge. Two guys right there. It, it was hit. Okay. Hit by what? I don't know. But it was hit. When we are coming, and uh, left a tank near it. We're driving back, and we're passing by the outskirts of our position that's being held. Um, no Ukrainians, no military is here where we are, where we're crossing through. And that's something to keep in mind. Like when, when people think of front lines, they think, "Oh, thousand troops." No, <laughs> no, 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 no. There's like twelve, uh, especially at the start. There's just nobody. So nobody. There's no military here at all. Nobody. We're, we're driving on the on the outskirt that we had, yeah, the the Russians saw us falling back, most likely, like, either on an Orlan or eyes. Now, we got to this position, where that BMP was probably trying to get to, where it was hit. So we're really close to the BMP now, we're on that same road, pretty much. You can see the smoke on the left. See what they're doing. We start talking to the Ukrainians, and uh, figuring out what's going on. Um, yeah, these are the Ukrainians that had fallen back a bit. They were taking shelter while we were out there in the front. Well, 
well said. That's exactly what happened. Um, what are some lessons we can take away? That's the purpose of this video. I would say communication is key. Do not go into a fight with people you do not know. At least have some sort of training with them. saw two helicopters. And this was our choice for doing this. This is nobody else's choice. This was our choice. We did not have to go on this mission. We signed up to do it. That was incredibly childish. Alright, so we tried our best. We start getting back. And that's pretty much it, guys. When I got back, uh, I was talking to you know, my friends who were there. And they were telling me how, hey, look, it seems like you have some sort of shell shock. Uh, they were, because I was talking super fast, kind of like I am right now. And they said, just take a breather, go behind the building. And I didn't even notice. I, I, was, I, I thought I was calm, but no, I still had adrenaline going through. So, yeah. Um, what are the takeaways? Communication. Don't go with a team that you don't know. Be smart about it. Uh, you know, when it comes to, you want to, if this is going to be your first time going to combat, whatever it is, whatever war you go to, I'm not saying go to Ukraine, okay? But if you're going to go into combat, your first mission should definitely be get your feet wet. Learn what the artillery sounds like. Learn how to operate as a team, like recon. Yeah, you got to look out for yourself. Nobody else is going to look out for you, especially if you're joining a foreign military, okay? It's, it's all about just uh, understanding each other and being with a group that you can trust, so... That's all I can, that's all I got to say to this. Um, I hope you guys learned something in this uh, video. I hope I was able to describe it a little bit better. Just uh, don't make the same mistakes as I did. And you can see in my later videos how much I developed as a, as a fighter. So, you know, luckily I survived this one. And I was able to complete some, some better missions. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.